Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization VI, Gathering Storm as Christina of Sweden. And we are working our way along. We are now about to tar attack Marseille. So let's go ahead and do that. Should be able to get it rather quickly. As a matter of fact, uh, maybe a lot quicker than I had anticipated. So let's um, let these guys rest up here since we have the range. It's no big deal. And governor established in Rapa Nui. Okay, so Amani is in Rapa Nui now. Great to have you guys along. Thank you so much for the likes, shares, and comments. Let's see. Still occupied. We could do a broadcast tower for music. Let's just go ahead and do that. And Paris, we're still kind of doing a bunch of repairs. We'll just go ahead and just kind of repair a little bit of everything there in Paris. And I don't have the mod to do cues. So that'll be something we can do, say, in a different game. And once I complete this game here, I'll probably play a few games just on my own off camera just to kind of get more of a better feel for the game and so forth because uh, I kind of feel like we're missing out on certain things because I don't really pause and like read all this detailed information to you guys God, um, really and whatnot. To fly. So, um, you know, I can kind of learn a little bit more about that in an independent games like that and kind of share that kind of with you guys in our next episodes. All right, so we're just going to fortify here. And I think what happened last time, if you guys recall, I kept wondering why the artillery wouldn't reach it. And I think it was because we had selected the health, or I had selected the health unit. And that would explain why. So we got four. And we were going to clear this jungle here. Looks like they're going to reach the diamonds, maybe. Can we buy that tile? Nope. Wait, let's go back to currency. Why are you doing that? Currency tiles. No, we cannot. Okay. We cannot buy it, so... I really, really, really think that Sweden is just amazing with this outdoor market. Absolutely phenomenal. Or open-air market, I should say. Or open-air museum. There we go. Man, those are just incredible. This... This, um... This sieve is just amazing. And we're not really going for a culture victory, but man, it's going to be interesting playing against her as a sieve if she gets rolling on um, culture as we play. Could get kind of interesting and ugly at the same time. I think we are getting close to... Yeah, three more turns before we get uh, our next... Our next uh, era. Or, yeah, so our next... Uh, Era, right. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we should get a Golden Age. So we're at 166. So we've been able to do quite a bit to really get the ball rolling here. So now we have um, aviation? What did we just get? Yeah. A advanced flight, I should say. So advanced flight. And then we'll go ahead and get um, rocketry. It's going to be interesting to see, like, the speed between... Diplomacy versus the space race. And I really do want to try to win a, a diplomatic victory. I don't want to lose the game to experimentation, but, yeah, you know, it's one of those things. Let's go ahead and get some oil. And let's go ahead and get... I think I have this guy going to that oil right there, I think. So let's get a farm here. And I'll keep an eye on that and make sure that they are going in that direction. Meanwhile, you can We don't have any flooding up there, so we don't really need a dam. We do need housing. Remember we couldn't use like a uh the percentage lowering purchasing power anymore, so we're gonna have to drop big money. But we can get this money back in like two turns, so wait, that's I thought that was a... Oh, that's because it's Petra. Okay. Um, I should have bought this tile. Doggone it. 
Oh well. We'll we'll make our money well that's yeah, it's Petra again. Okay. <laughs> and that's Petra too. So let's um yeah, we'll just go ahead and put it here. It's no big deal. Or is it? No, I think it's fine. Uh yeah, we'll just go ahead and make it here. I think we have a housing problem overall. I'll show you that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and do complete all of our repairs. So, yeah, we got to deal with... Uh, these are obviously occupied cities. We have 75% less growth. And our... Was that our Linkoping city? Yes, yeah, because we need housing. And we had the flood there. So, we'll have to take care of that. Meanwhile, over here... Let's go ahead and finish off the city. So both Molly and Dido really helped a good bit to soften up these cities for us. And I do want to leave these two here. She's not going to be any major threat after we take her main cities. Let's keep our tank here. I don't feel like we have any additional threats at the moment. But um, you never know. And if you guys remember in our Japanese game, yeah, that unit is going there. We were able to get along peacefully with some rather aggressive civs in that game. I was really kind of surprised by that, to be totally honest. And it's always nice, as I've mentioned before, to have one of your biggest rivals who is leading right now. Well, he's in culture now because we're putting a big hurt on France. But as far as, like, most things... Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely catch up to that. 63 of 371 is quite a ways off. The only thing we have to really be kind of moderately focused on is uh, Mansa Musa with four uh, of the religious uh, Taoism influence. But still early in the game to do that. I've never lost a game to um, religion that I can think of. I don't... Well, of course, we play very carefully and stuff, so we don't, like, lose a lot of games. But... Um, in this particular situation, so we're going to pop the city a couple more times. But yeah, I, I've never lost a game to religion. And I think we can still take it. If not with this guy, the other guy. And there we go. We are essentially done. Is that a hill? It is not. Okay. Yeah, and I have him pumping science down there because I want to. I wanted to kind of experiment a little with the world's fair because I'm pretty sure you could. Um, I'll have to look into this and see like what you can work to be able to get closer to this. And I think most of it is working your great person slots. I think now we do have the Nobel Prize, and I should have paid closer attention to that winning because I think that I think that I mean there's some really really amazing bonuses for winning that, and some of those involve getting additional uranium and oil and other resources, which is just incredibly powerful. So this really makes playing um, Christina a really amazing and powerful Civ. Alright, so we're done with her. So let's go ahead and make peace here. And see how much we can get. We're going to want every city that's seated. Okay, so let's just clear them all out and this way I can... Um... Girl, you're not getting any of this stuff. Hang on, let's try that again. Alright, so... The reason I'm doing this is I want to make sure that I get every city that's actually seated. So, uh, there's a definitely some kind of weird bug going on here. Okay, let's do it this way. Woo, if I did accept, I would have been very, very upset. Alright, so let's make sure all the seated cities are here. They are, okay. And she doesn't really have a lot to give us. I really don't want to necessarily take everything she has, but... I 
I'm just taking it just to take it, just to kind of cripple her a little bit. We'll take 20. And 10 gold per turn. We could probably get more out of that, probably. Let's see. Not that it's a major... Yeah, we can. We can probably get as much as 20. Oh, 21? Let's just keep rocking it out then. 30? Crazy, but we'll keep going. Why not, right? 40? Wow. I'm satisfied with that for now. I just want to get this over with and move on, so let's just... Accept that and move on. So there it is. End of war with her. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and just make a cut here. And just kind of get everything going and rolling here. And uh, we'll just start kind of winding the game down. And I'll just bring you guys in as things come up. But uh, maybe we could finish at least one more turn here as we're going to get the, uh, the new era in two turns. So we'll just go ahead and play out the two more turns. Let's go ahead and get our great person who is a musician and let's see music we can send you to see this is what I was trying to say earlier remember when we talked about music and see I love how they theme everything for us that is so amazing this is really a great 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 sieve they really made these sieves really powerful so I guess we're gonna have to move you over to um this city here because we're making a radio tower so let's just go there and trade routes I'm gonna wanna put you in certain cities so let's take a quick look and see where we would need you so and since so we're gonna get a housing there Uppsala what's going on in Uppsala here yeah, it was a housing issue. So, we could... Let's go ahead and move you to our capital city so we can get the Bolshoi done. Alright, so there is our oil completed and done. And we could probably move you to our other cities over here. But I think I might want to get... You know, five builds on you. So let's go ahead and get another farm right here. Well, we don't really need a farm. We could probably use a, a mine right there. You're definitely going to get a farm right there. All right. So Navy or what? We're definitely going to want to build a space station here. Because it's the... I think Cahokia is the second... Or the third most productive city... See, 19 of 22. Let's go ahead and get a sewer. That's only three turns. Let's clear out some of these notifications here. We haven't had a lot of uh, events happen, at least in our area, outside of that one flood. We'll go ahead and get you a granary. So now all these cities um, can grow. Let's go ahead and repair these cities real quick here. Let's do that too. I'm going to change this to um, repair. I like the cities to be repaired. Just me. And we are repairing here, but I want to repair the city first. Like that. Okay, those cities are fine. Alright, so next turn. And we'll be able to get democracy. So maybe we could clear this rainforest up here. Although I do like the production. And we're probably just going to send you over here and see if we can't start cleaning up some things over there. Next turn. So this should put us into the new era. And we'll get uh, suffrage, which we can change our government, which I'll go with democracy. we got some niter up here we can work. There we go. We got some additional error score. Paradoxically, the citizens of Cahokia are both incredibly proud of their city's size. Okay, so uh, we'll take that error score. Men, they're right. Super need that much error score, but that's fine. And we'll heal you up. We're going to move our units to the other side because we don't know what... Um, 
can happen over here. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving these guys over to the other side. And let's see, let's build something and then clear this rainforest. So let's build something with some, let's see here, we could build an aerodrome. But we could use an entertainment district, just, well, industrial, theater square would be more prevalent. This city has a food problem, though. That's the only downside. I mean, we are going to grow to here. Is that desert? No, it's... So we can build a farm here, but still... Yeah, this city really needs tiles. Alright, let's see. Theater Square would give us... more culture. And we're at 351. We have more culture than we do science, which is kind of funny, but not surprising considering who we're playing. We could build a harbor. Yeah, let's just build a harbor. It's just for the bonuses, really, more than anything else. All right, so Liang is now established here, but I don't think we can make... Um, we have a resource here, so we could make the aqueduct, or the aqua... Aquaculture? Do we have that unlocked? No, we we don't. Because we want to get her to the um, reinforced material because we have flooding going on over here. Now, we could build a dam, but reinforced materials with her... So, like, if we had two particular um, cities that were suffering a lot from... Um, Two different cities suffering from a lot of, you know, um, events, then yeah, that would be um, a necessary thing. Let's see here. It's just, I want to go to like another city. So let's try like some science. And we'll get some gold too. Look at that. 14 gold, 22 gold. And we can get some production. Yeah, we really need to get spread out a little bit as far as our um, international trade routes and stuff. So, I don't know if it's, it's going to be worth using that for that. For just, yeah, let's just do it. And you're going to be sitting here until we finish. Alright, and we can work the niter. Nice. And we can work the oil. Very nice. So now we got some decent resources here. Oil, especially for, I think aviation requires it too. And we did get aluminum from the deal with uh, Eleanor, but I don't see aluminum here. I know, there it is, okay. So we're good with that. All right, now we get another great person. Let's see who that is. That is a great writer. So I can kind of see how she can walk away with uh, culture if played correctly. And the AI leaves a lot to be desired, but um, this is an artist, right? This is a writer. Okay, let's take a look. So let's just send you to Stockholm. Our home city. I don't know why I hesitated saying that. I was just kind of thinking of something and doing something at the same time. All right, so the city's repaired, and we can't queue anything because we don't have the mod for that, but... So now we'll just have to do like single repair, single repair each. You have seven of nine. Let's go ahead and get a granary. We're going to get some... We will need to get some builders over here. Wow. My uh, brain... Or my mouth can't keep up with my brain. Let's see here. Six of five. We're definitely going to need to get a sewer. But let's get a granary first. And new government. And we want to get democracy. Very nice. And there's some additional error score. And let's see, I usually like gumboat diplomacy in an additional slot, but I don't do a lot of city-state stuff, you know, with, um, as far as trade, well, we'll get Rod, but we're not trading with them. Let's do envoys. Okay. And let's see. We can do some theater square, 
theater square district adjacency bonuses for additional culture. Let's see, we could run this. We could run Wonders for a little bit until we finish the Bolshoi. And then back to unit maintenance. So I'm pretty happy with that configuration. Yep, 276 gold. 11 more turns for the Bolshoi. Yeah, very nice. Five more turns till Rocketry. All right, and why didn't it show our Golden Age yet? Oh, one more turn, and then we'll go to Golden Age, and then we can preempt the uh, video and do some cutting. Well, we're actually almost finished with this video, so it might be the next one. Okay, he likes how we practice our government. So he must have democracy, which is nice. So I guess I should hit next turn. That's right, we were rudely interrupted by Suleiman. And we can even move Liang over here, too, if we want to get, like, some... You know, the aquaculture, and then just move her back. Something to consider. And there it is. New World Era. Achievement unlocked. I'm going to break the wheel. Okay. Kind of interesting. A bird came down the walk. He did not knock. I like, um... I like getting unlocks. And we achieved some quests here. River flooding... Uh, prevented. Okay, we talked about this earlier, or I may have mentioned it in another game, about railroads requiring coal. So that's some, and I think coal is required for shipbuilding too. Just, you know, again, some of those things that I have to, we have to kind of think about. Alright, so we get to pick three, right? Or one. Because you earned a golden age, you may oh, make one dedication. Okay, I thought it was three. Alright, let's just do, um, unlocks the Eureka for advanced flight, nuclear fission, rocketry. Well, we got all that. I don't want to unlock it since we're already working on it. It's only, what, two more turns? So, um, body of lies or wish you were here. Yeah, let's just go with spying. It would be kind of interesting to see... A culture game with Christina because there's so much micromanagement, additional micromanagement, in my opinion, when you're doing culture. Because, like I said, you know, the ability to have her theme things on their own is just phenomenal. I mean, it's just amazing for her to be able to do those theming. Because trying to do all this theming yourself is can be kind of tedious. And I think what it does is it, you know, just oh man, just makes things so much amazingly easier. So, I could consider a culture victory with her in a different game. Absolutely. Why not, right? So, speaking of culture victory, let's uh, go ahead and make a broadcast tower here. Actually, let's make a trade route. But I will make some additional radio towers, without a doubt. And... Yeah, definitely an airport. We're just going to go ahead and just go full on with that, and then we'll consider bombers. But, I mean, at this point, I really don't see any... Like, a, I mean, it, it might be a while before we have any kind of a war. All right, so where's our spy we were able to upgrade? That's kind of annoying. All right, so anyway, he's here, and I don't know why. And right, we can move him to Stockholm and just put him somewhere. Let's see, city to the capital. We have our other spy there as well, but... um. We'll just move them there. And yeah, these um, these open-air museums are just freaking phenomenal. So yeah, a culture victory with her would be a really amazing option. Are we going to be able to work the um, forest? Yes, we can. Why did you go there? Weird. Alright, so we work the oil... And let's see, maybe move you over to this city here. We'll kind of decide what to do there. Okay, guys, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I want to thank you guys so very much for the likes, shares, and the comments. I uh, can't stress enough how much I appreciate your guys' uh, viewing of the videos and participating here and 
uh, going down and checking out the affiliate links if you choose to purchase the game or have friends that may want to purchase a game, as well as those who may want to watch the game. So uh, this is the point where I tell you, or this is the point where I say uh, to click on that uh, channel icon right there appearing on the screen to subscribe, along with clicking that notification bell so you guys will know when the next available uh, game is out. And um, I will see you in the next game.